Hi. Welcome to Creating Cards with Sherry. I'm Sherry, and this is my Tickle Tuesday video. I'm so glad that you have joined me today. Today, I'm going to focus a little bit on um, what to do when you have stampers block. And I'm not saying a block for stamping. I'm saying you just don't know what to create. You know, you hear of writer's block. I call this stamper's block. And um, for me, as a demonstrator, what I do is I will go look at uh, other demonstrators' videos and see what they're doing with a particular stamp set. Or I go straight to the catalog and see what they've done. So today's project that I'm going to show you, I have actually cased uh, Lisa Freeman. She's one of my favorite demonstrators to watch. And uh, she taught me in her video this technique of called whitewash. And she got her idea from the card that was in the catalog. So we're going to combine those two and I'll show you how to do a whitewash card. All right, let's get to it. Okay, anything and everything that you see today can be purchased through my store, creatingcardswithsherry.stampinup.net. That you need to be sure to put in that host code to get any rewards. And this is the last week to use that host code. July 1st, we will start with a new one. You can also find all the details of how to make the card on my blog, Creating Cards with Sherry, blogspot.com. All right. Um, I received a brand new suite from the catalog, the new annual catalog called Abigail Rose. At first I wasn't going to order it because I wasn't sure if I liked those colors. They're not really uh, my, you know, I like brights and regals and this was very subdued and uh, more neutral. So I wasn't quite sure if I would like it. But I got it anyway. I loved the idea of what you could do with the ribbon. This is, um, I don't even know if, oh, right back here. You can buy the ribbon all on its own. Natural finish ribbon is what it's called. And I'm just going to show you a couple things that you can do with the ribbon. You can stamp on it to make a nice little design, and they show you that in the catalog as well. Or you can make a border. And I've, it took me a while to figure out how the border was made because they did it here. Oops, you can't see it. They did it here in the catalog as well. And so what I did is I took a ruler and I matched that. I decided how wide I wanted my uh, line. And then I just took a blending pen, in this case the shaded spruce, and I just colored all the way up to make that border. So I'm excited about different things that you can do with the ribbon, and I hope to be able to try a few of them. Okay, the stamp set is called Cottage Rose, and uh, here's a, a closer look at it. Again, you'll have to excuse my uh, glare. I'm going to try and show it to you without. Um, but... It's got best wishes. It's going to be fab. Happy birthday. You are positively the greatest. Friends forever and feel better soon. And then it's got a variety of flowers and a leaf. Okay. This is the paper that it came with. And once I got this suite, I just fell in love with this paper. It's really neat. Um, the colors are in this set are uh, basic black, crumb cake, early espresso, petal pink, smoky slate, and very vanilla. All right, so in the black they did these, and you can color these if you want with your colored pencils and cut them out. 
uh, anything you want to do. And then that's the back side. Okay, then the next set is in a crumb cake. And isn't that pretty? That's the other side of that one. Then we have, I love this, I've already used it. Um, then we have this printed with the early espresso. And isn't that gray leaf a nice pattern? I just love that. And here's another basic black that uh, can be colored or just left alone to use on your cards. And let's see, the back side of that is the petal pink stripe. Then there's these tulips. I just love this. That's one of my favorites in this set. And the back side of the, oh, I'm sorry, I turned that one too early, is the petal pink. Let's see. With this, I had too many pages. It's this grid line paper in the back. The tulips have the petal pink. Then we have some more stamped in crumb cake. And the back side of that is this beautiful gray. And we're going to be using this today. All right. Let's get going. If you wish to make this card, you're going to need a five and an eight by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter smoky slate uh, card stock. And then you're going to need two cards that are four by five and a quarter, one in white and one in smoky slate. You'll need a couple little strips, a white one that is three quarters wide and two and a quarter inches long. Uh, and then the gray slip is half an inch wide and it's two and three quarters long. All right. Okay, let's get started. For the inside of your card, you will want that white so that you can write any message that you have. So we're just going to put that in right away. Even it up so we got it even. Whoop. Yeah. That's not quite even. Let's try it again. There we go. That's better. All right. And then what we're going to do with this is we're going to actually stamp on it and put that in the center of the card. So I'm going to take that first stamp, or, yeah, the, the big flower stamp that comes in this set, and with Smoky Slate, I'm going to stamp all over my image, or my uh, card, to make a background. So I'm going to start by putting this right in the center. Well, not quite in the center. It's off to the left. And I'm going to give it a good firm stamp. And then I'm going to stamp in other places. So we're going to start there. And then I'm going to do one here. And I will do one more right here. Okay, oops. I went too far with that. That's okay. I have a, the finished card almost done, the finished top done, and I will just um, show you how to whitewash so we won't worry about it at this time. Okay. So that's how we do our stamp if we want to do a background, okay? And I'm going to do another piece of stamping. I'm going to take that white strip 
And we're going to take Friends Forever. And I'm using my real red this time. And we're going to stamp that up and firmly place it on the paper. Ooh, I got too far over. Okay, I have another one here. <laughs> so we'll just use that. All right. That stamp was a challenge to work with today. Okay. Now for the fun part, the part that you've been waiting for. What you'll need is a block. It doesn't really matter what size it is. I just chose this small block. It, it, it's our um, B block. And you're going to want the Crafting White ink. And I just put a uh, squeezed a little bit on the block. But you don't need a whole lot. It will go far. Then you take the blender pen, which um, has alcohol in it. And we are going to start to paint around our flower. And the trick is not to get it over the shadowing. It, it doesn't always work. Sometimes you can't help it. But that's what you try to do. You try to get in there. It's, it's kind of hit or miss. You're going to get some regardless. So... Don't be a perfectionist and worry about it because it's just not going to, that's just the way it is. All right, and you're going to continue to just, you just kind of color it in. That's all you're doing is you're just coloring a little bit. And those finer spaces, you just tip your pen up a little higher so that you can get in there. And then we're going to, now that one I missed the gray altogether. That one was a little challenging because I had too much ink on it. So we're just going to go that far and that'll work. And you just continue to color. And then um, you will need to put it aside so that it can dry before you actually assemble your card. So I have a finished product that I'm going to show you. And um, because I don't have time to wait for it to dry and to continue on, it would take... This video would last forever if I did that. So I am going to stop right there. That gives you an idea of how you do the whitewash. And where's my cover? Up oh, there it is. And you can take just a paper towel or a Kleenex and wipe up your block until you have a chance to really wash it. Okay, then I used this stamp set also comes with die cuts. And I used this die in particular. Isn't it cute? And uh, I cut out one of those flowers. And with that, I put together our cover. Now, see after you dry it, how that looks. It, isn't that cool? I, I just love this technique. I think that's so cool. And this is very thin, very del delicate. So I put some uh, multi-purpose glue uh, right here where it's a little thicker. And then I spread some right in there to keep it down on that end. I also used it 
to glue that gray strip down. Remember we had cut out a gray strip and then of the DSP and then I put my stamp on there, the Friends Forever. Okay? Now, and what I did is I used the dimensionals. You remember those, Stampin' Dimensionals. I put that on the back of this to uh, raise it up. I also put dimensionals on the back because that's how we're going to apply it to our card. Okay, so I'm just going to take that. Well, come on. Take the paper right off. I think I'm going to use my Take Your Pick tool because it's not coming otherwise. This Take Your Pick tool is the best $10 tool you will ever have because it helps you get all those small things together. All right, it works really well with embellishments and that sort of thing as well. And we're going to center this as best we can. And there we have our card. It stands out all by itself because we've raised it with the Stampin' Dimensionals and we have that whitewash look. The leaves and the flowers, I used um, my blending pens and this is the light granny apple green and this is the light real red. That's what I used for those flowers and the leaves. So there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me today and learning a little bit about a new technique called whitewash. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did actually making it. And um, we will see you again at our Simple Sunday video. Have a good day.